I'm a data hoarder. I have a really hard time deleting anything. That random checklist I created to track a grocery list five years ago, I never deleted it. I just moved on and even worse, I probably backed it up in at least three places because I hate losing any kind of data. It looks like upcoming technology will allow me to store more data than ever. And so I want to talk about hard drive storage today and why the near future of storage might just blow your mind. Most laptops and desktop computers today include around 512 gigabytes or around half a terabyte of storage. Let's assume that compressed 1080p high definition video takes up around three gigabytes per two hour movie. So with a common 500 gigabyte hard drive, if you could fill it with movies and nothing else, there would be around 167 movies on that hard drive or over 334 hours of content. Seems like a ton, doesn't it? Why would you or anyone else need anything more? If you find yourself storing a lot of data like me, let me know in the comments below. How much hard drive space do you need? So one of the reasons for bigger storage is that media we create is getting larger. More megapixels on your phone's camera means larger files. 4K video creates larger files. That latest AAA game uses probably twice as much storage space as the previous iteration of the game that came out a little over five years ago. Everything is getting bigger, so hard drives have to keep up. So how big of a hard drive could you purchase today if you want to buy the single largest hard drive? Well, the answer as of creating this video looks to be around 22 terabytes or 44 times larger than the 512 gigabyte average we mentioned before. This would mean being able to store around 7,348 movies for around 14,696 hours of content. That would mean if you had that many movies available, then you could sit down and start watching a movie today and it would take a little more than a year and a half for you to get to the end of the content stored on that drive, like your own personal Netflix. There are discussions about 26, 28, and even 30 terabyte hard drives. And I know Western Digital, a major name in hard drive manufacturing, has a 28 terabyte drive for the enterprise that regular people like you and me can't easily buy. But our journey into large data storage doesn't stop there. Of course, you could stack multiple hard drives together to have more storage, but let's stick to a single implementation. So where do we go from here? What if we get to the point where regular people are filling up 22 terabyte drives on the regular with their 16K video content and 500 megapixel images? Well, right now, the only other option would be tape drives. Tape drives will likely never be common outside of business use, but some high capacity tapes can store as much as 580 terabytes of data. According to IBM, that would be the same as 786,977 CDs stacked on top of each other or around 944 meters high, which is taller than the Burj Khalifa. So if we aren't going to use tape drives at home, what's next for people like me? Well, SSDs are continuing to increase in size. Most consumers can safely buy an eight terabyte SSD, and there are articles that talk about the opportunity for this technology to continue to improve and grow to potentially 100 terabytes or maybe even more. 100 terabytes using our previous movie values would be around 34,133 movies, or around seven and three quarter years of continuous video content. There was a recent announcement though that could probably solve my backup problems forever if I was able to get my hands on it in the next several years. Ceramic storage. TechRadar has an article and video showing off Cerabyte's ceramic-based data storage system where lasers can etch data on glass and ceramic to create cartridges that can store up to 10,000 terabytes or 10 petabytes of data. This is where our three gigabytes per movie discussion moves far into ridiculous territory as 10,000 terabytes storage could store around 3.4 million movies or enough content for around 10 lifetimes, assuming around a 78 year lifetime. Cerabyte is hoping this technology will become mainstream by 2030, and while it might be focused more on being able to back up massive amounts of data for 5,000 years or more, this is just one of many advancements in data storage that are changing our world. I mean, Netflix's current movie library is approximated to be under 10,000 titles, depending on geographic region. And even if you add in all of their specials, television shows, and other media, we'd probably be able to store it all on less than one-tenth of a Cerabyte ceramic cartridge. I feel like storage technology is going to keep up with the ever-increasing demands on it, and so I'll continue to be able to be a data hoarder for as long as I can afford that next upgrade. If you enjoyed this video, check out this video that YouTube thinks you'll like.